Hi, Heather with Jenkins CPA. Charitable contributions. Tis the season for giving. That's what we're in right now, and that's what people are thinking about. You're tithing more at church. You're dropping those that change into the Salvation Army buckets. You're doing toys for tot drives. You're helping with least of these or another food pantry. You're doing all those kinds of things. Well, let's make sure you're taking the proper advantage of it tax-wise so that more can get back into your pocket and you give more locally. If you pay more tax, all that's going to happen is the politicians get to choose where that money goes versus you. I believe you'd probably rather have that money stay local and at least go to the cause that's important to you versus the cause that's important to whatever politicians in charge today. Um, the biggest thing we want to think about is how are you giving? If you're just buying that toy at Walmart and dropping it in the box, or you're just dropping that change into the Salvation Army box, that's not deductible. There's no receipt for it. There's no proof that you did it. There's lots of different things that could cause problems with that. So if you want to give to those causes, you still can, but there are different ways you can do it. You can go onto any of their websites and they'll tell you how to give, where they'll send you a receipt. If you're giving more than $100, you have to have an actual receipt. And on the receipt, it says that you didn't trade any good or uh, you didn't get any goods or value for the money that you gave. So that's going to ensure that you are able to take that deduction off your taxes. We want to make sure you have that because if we don't have it, then it doesn't do us any good uh, tax-wise to have that charity. Now make sure you're giving to a charity that's important to you. Don't just give for the tax deduction. Give because it means something to you. That'll change the way you give, it'll change the difference it makes in um, the money that you have left over. It makes all the difference in the world. So give to the right thing for you and then also give it with the right tax strategy in mind. That way you can have more to give to other things or to that charity in the future. It doesn't matter whether it's tithing in your church or giving to a local charity or a national charity. It all comes down to the, exactly the same thing on your tax return. Not every deduction, not every charitable giving that you're going to have is going to be a deduction. Sometimes you're in a, in a situation where you can't itemize. Itemizing generally is going to be for those people who have mortgage interest on their home or they give a lot in charity. It just depends on your tax situation, so consult your tax advisor on that. Um, if you are able to itemize, then that receipt is going to be extremely important. So make sure that you're giving to the right charity at the right time with the right paperwork in order to get the deductions. Now, if you can't take a deduction on your tax return, maybe you rent and you, you don't have a mortgage interest that, that helps you itemize, or uh, you're older and you paid off your mortgage um, and you just don't itemize, you don't have enough of other expenses to itemize, and that charitable deduction is not going to do you any good on your taxes. I'm not saying it doesn't do any good in the world, just doesn't do any good on your taxes. So make sure that, that you look at what you're giving because there's options out there where it still could be helpful. If you'll Google Missouri tax credits, as long as you live in the state of Missouri, other states have similar programs, Missouri tax credits, Google that, it'll pop up. Um, with a list of credits that you can get up to 70% on your Missouri taxes due as a credit, not a deduction. So the difference between a credit and a deduction is a deduction is just going to come off your income and then taxes are going to be figured. A credit actually goes against the tax, tax itself. Um, most of those credits in Missouri are going to be in the 50% range. So for example, the food pantries, uh, our local one is least of these. If you gave them $100, they have to give you a form for it, but you use them on your Missouri tax return and you get a credit for $50. So say you owe Missouri $200 and you gave that $100 to the food pantry. So the $50 credit will come directly off the $200 in tax that you owe. So now you're only going to owe Missouri $150. Big difference than a tax deduction, that tax to credit is direct off of it. Then also the money is going to go against, if you itemize, against your federal. So there are ways to take advantage and to make your money go further so that you can help more things that benefit your cause or causes that you're supporting to you. Um, another option is if you're 70 and a half and you have to do some of those RMDs for your IRA accounts, um, this is a great way to uh, take advantage of the uh, system that's out there right now, if you have, do a qualified charitable contribution from your IRA, it can be in place of your RMD. So basically, instead of 
tithing all year at church say you can determine how much you want to give and, and you don't need that maybe you don't need that distribution to live on and, and you don't want to take it in any way but the government makes you because they want you to pay tax on it that's the whole point they you're supposed to pay tax before you die so you're required to take it out anyway and if you're giving it to the church there's no point paying tax on that you can just go directly to your church or your other charitable contribution uh charitable charity sorry that you have and it never touches your tax return as far as taxable income goes it's a fantastic way to do it avoids tax for you helps them and they'll allow your charity um, to have that income all your early in the year to use all year long instead of you doing it on a weekly basis. It's just an option. Uh, talk to your financial advisor, your tax preparer, and your charity that you want to do that with uh, to make sure that you're doing the best way possible for everybody involved so you get the best tax advantage and they get the most use of the money. Um, just to help that charitable cause that you want, that you are looking to do in the world, the difference you're trying to make. Well, there's everything about charitable contributions. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Heather Jenkins with Jenkins CPA. Think outside the block on your money, life, and business.